Welcome to Hass Online Trade Server. Let's look at a very basic setup to get you started. Okay, I've got a trade bot in here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to general settings and see what exchange we're trading on. I've got us on the demo, but you can pick here what pair you want to trade on. For example, we want to trade on Litecoin or Bitcoin. And here you would adjust which exchange. You can also give your trade bot a name if you want. Okay, I've got some safeties in here. I've got dynamic drop loss and dynamic roof in. A dynamic drop loss is a stop loss type of safety that readjusts according to the parameters that you give it. Let's take a look. This is just an example chart and the red line is the drop loss and you can see it readjusts according to the price. So let's change this. Let's say 97%, so a 3% drop over a 720 minute update period. Hit update and there we go. Then we can then, um, I mean, in this case, with this one, it would have been triggered right there. Okay, so that is going to be one. If you don't want to sell, you want to hold coin, then something like that with around 3% drop, for example, or 2% over a longer period of time, like 720 minutes. If you want it to be more sensitive, of course, you could just go something like 98 and then 90 minutes, let's say, and you know that would be a lot more sensitive and that would get triggered more often. So of course, with this, you have the risk that you're gonna sell the bottom. The idea is that it's gonna save you from a big dump, or if you wanna have it real sensitive, then you're gonna get out as soon as the price is out of your channel. Okay, let's look at Rufin. Rufin is the exact opposite. We're going to buy in on when the price goes up a lot. So if we want to jump in when there's a big pump, this is how you would do it. Of course, there you've got the risk that you're going to buy the top. However, if, it, if you think it's going to, if you set it up right, it could be that there's a trend change and then you buy in because it broke out. So again, you could just use very similar, but on the other side, so let's say 103 updating on 720 minutes would be a pretty good generic I'm pretty cautious about buying in mode now if I did it real sensitive and I move this to 101 or if I did 102 and then I reduce the time to 90 minutes or 120 minutes then that would be a lot more sensitive I would be buying in earlier but I could get also a lot of false signals it just depends on how you want to do it. All right, so that's the basics on how the drop loss roof in works. Now, I prefer to have that in a separate bot all to itself, running parallel to the other bots that you're trading on. For example, if I'm trading on Coinbase or BTCE, then I would have just one bot with just these two safeties ready to protect me from any real drastic movement. That's just an idea. Okay, but you can also put it just in this spot. Now, it's going to trade the trade trade amount, the safeties. It's going to also buy or sell the trade amount. So let's go into the trade settings and check that out. Okay, so right here, we have the position of bought or sold. Bought means we bought Bitcoin. So that's over here. And sold is our cash size side because we're doing... Bitcoin USD and this is our cash we have the possibility to buy that much Bitcoin currently with our cash okay so we can say let's say we're gonna get a bot because we want to sell some coin we're gonna start out selling and right now our trade amount is one Bitcoin so if one of those safeties over here would get hit it would sell or buy one Bitcoin okay let's get a basic um, for a consolidating market for a sideways market what could we do to just buy and sell, buy low, sell high, make some trades. They're not going to be really big profitable trades, but we're going to make low risk trades. 
let's set up one of our oscillators, one of our stochastics, and let's put the update time at something like 15 minutes. You could also adjust the length here, but we have the length at 30. Let's just keep that for now. All right, and let's just do the other one, and let's put it at five minutes. So the idea is we don't have just one indicator. We have two indicators, one fast and one slow. They're going to work together to give us some good signals. And that's it. You could do that, and you do not need to add any other insurances. We don't need to play with the master indicator or anything else. So that would work for sideways markets. Okay, what if, what if you think that the market is trending, or what if you think there's going to be a big... There was just a big sell-off, let's say, and you want to set up a bot to buy back in when the trend has changed. Well, let's use some different indicators. Maybe we'll take a moving average. And let's take another one. Let's take an exponential moving average. Where are you at? And let's add even another exponential moving average there. Okay, so these are crosses this is just a demo chart so just so you can play around there's no price no exchange that really moves like that it doesn't matter so here we can we can set up the long and short periods they also have the same topic as with the other bot setup one short and one long and we also have a minimal minimal swing so if you just get these really these crosses um, that are really weak, then it's not going to do anything. You can also set that up. You could also think of that as height. So, you know, you could adjust this. 1226 is a pretty common one. But for the for this video, we're just going to leave that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to adjust our time frames. We're going to go, this one is going to be two hours. So we're going to use some really big time frames, bigger time frames. This is going to be one hour. And we can say this one's going to be the 30 minute. So there we go. So when all three of those agree, then you know it's going to buy in because we, we're going to need to, if we want to buy in, then we got to change to sold because we're in the sold position and then we want to buy in when all three of those the idea is that if all three of those agree that it's a buy then that's a good signal it's strong enough for us the bot is going to buy then if we get some really sudden drastic movements our safeties are here to protect us same thing goes for the other one we set up with two oscillating indicators with the two stochastics they're going to buy and sell buy and sell high low style and if there's a real big drastic movement in the market, we've got our safeties here to help us out. Okay, so I hope that helps with some basic setups on what you can do. Please check out the other videos. And if you have any questions, just write them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching.